Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today we're going to be discussing the price quality disconnect in healthcare. And this is another subject that you, my viewers, have been asking me to cover. And I will also tell you that this is a highly controversial topic. But here we go. So what I have listed here are some examples where price and quality in healthcare are not correlated at all. And so oftentimes, people in healthcare will actually use price as a proxy for quality. They're like, well, because the price is higher, then it must be higher quality. And that's just because they don't know. And so they just kind of take their consumer experiences from other places to say, okay, well, that's kind of how it works in the rest of my life. So maybe that's how it works in healthcare. And the answer is, it's not. And so here's some specific, uh, specific examples of that. So example number one, this is where the same surgery or the same procedure with the same surgeon can cost two dramatically different prices. And these are commercially insured contracted rates. So this is after the discount has been applied by the insurance network. So this is what would be charged to the employer uh, and or the employee in terms of their out-of-pocket costs. So this would be something like a carpal tunnel release or an arthroscopic knee surgery by an orthopedic surgeon, um, or it could be like a hernia surgery by a general surgeon. It could even be for like an upper endoscopy or a colonoscopy by a gastroenterologist. So there's a whole sort of myriad of procedures that would fall into these categories. Okay, so in the first situation, look, at the hospital, that procedure, and here the facility fee might be upwards of $16,000. But again, with the same surgeon for the exact same procedure, at an ambulatory surgery center, that facility might only be $4,000. And oh, by the way, that ambulatory surgery center might be like across the street, and the surgeon might uh, operate at the hospital on a Monday, and the ambulatory surgery center on a Tuesday. And so when you, the patient, go to schedule your surgery, and the scheduler says, well, he's got an appointment uh, uh, available in the operating room on Monday at 8 or Tuesday at 10, then you literally have made a several thousand dollar decision without ever knowing it. Okay, so that's example one, where the quality of the surgery has nothing to do with that dollar amount. I mean, because I mean, honestly, is that surgeon compromising their quality every Tuesday that they do it at the ambulatory center? Surgery center? No, of course not. Okay, example number two. So at, let's just say it's at the hospital. Forget about the ambulatory surgery center. So this is where actually the majority of surgeries these days at a hospital are actually outpatient surgery. So most people actually do go home the same day for their surgery, even though they're going to a hospital. And that's where this, the hospital and that uh, insurance network have actually negotiated fairly high uh, in-network contacted rates for those uh, surgeries, where they could be upwards of, let's say, $28,000 is the allowed amount for that surgery. Now, let's just say, the per and, and oftentimes these are even for like 23 hour stays where you could come in for a surgery at 11 a.m. in the morning and not leave until like 8 a.m. the next morning and it would still be considered quote unquote outpatient because it was less than 24 hours. Okay, but let's just say you stayed over 24 hours and it was counted as an inpatient service. Let's say they just kept you over past lunch okay, and they, the next day, and they build it as inpatient. Well, that would then change the way that the bill is um, reimbursed from, instead of being a percentage charge discount for an outpatient procedure, it would be on what's called a med surge uh, day rate or a per diem. So literally the allowed amount would go from $28,000 to $2,500 as a result of just staying in a few extra hours and making it an inpatient stay as opposed to an outpatient stay, completely disconnected from quality. And then finally, there are some situations where the worse the quality gets, the higher the price. And this is where, for, uh, for surgical complications, hospitals not only get reimbursed more, but they actually make a higher profit margin. And this is not a Dr. Eric Bricker thing. This was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in April of 2013. And one of the authors on this study was Dr. Atul Gawande. That's right, one of the most famous physicians in America who is now heading up the Amazon Berkshire Hathaway uh, Chase healthcare effort actually was one of the main authors on this study. So here you have a complete opposite approach where actually the higher quality surgery uh, is actually lower cost, okay? So that's all I'm gonna cover for today. Again, this is a highly controversial subject, but thank you so much for watching A Healthcare Z.